Okay, so let's look at RS links for just a minute. Uh, RS links is used to set up a communication driver between the workstation, the computer, and the, the control local area network, let's say. Uh, for example, these three dots here, you'll see them in the uh, Studio 5000 program as well. Three dots is a network symbol. Uh, when I click on it, it'll show me if there's any drivers already set up, and of course there are some. Um, if I click on this button, the plus sign, I can see that I have a driver called PLC2, and it's looking for these different controllers. Uh, right now I don't have an ethernet cord plugged in, so I won't get any responses from it. Uh, give me just one second and I'll grab a cord and plug it in. We'll see what it what it looks like. Okay, let's reach around back here. Okay. So I plugged into the Ethernet socket on the motherboard. And you see that the red X's went away, most of them, not all of them. So these IP addresses are not available. They are from some other day or some other semester, who knows what it was. Uh, this is also not available, okay. Um, well, it came back. So the ones that are not X'd out or they're available to, to talk to. So you, the way you set these drivers up is that you go in here to the uh, to the S symbol. The S symbol is like a cable. So here's the driver type. We have a lot of different types. For this class, the IP driver is the one we use. Uh, we'll add a new driver. Let's call it new driver. It would like to know which a network adapter to use. So let's point it to the motherboard network adapter. It has a 192.168.1 IP address. So let's go with that. And we will close that. And there's my new driver. So when I expand that, you can see that it, it sees the same thing as this one. So I, I have you know, I have multiple drivers doing the same thing, but that's that's almost common. You can go in there and stop them and delete them if you if you'd like to, or just leave them open. The only one that's actually running is the one that you see that's active right here. The other ones are kind of available. If I activate this one, it's it's scanning down here. You can see how it's scanning right here. Okay, so let's close that. Let's go back to this one. Um, while I have this open. One of the nice things about it is I can right click on this first one, for example, I can go and get some device property information about the controller. It'll tell me what firmware it's got, uh, information about it. I can also right click and click on data monitor. What data monitor does, it goes and it pulls the information from the controller. You probably saw that pop up. Let me do that again on a different one. Um, so at this point, uh, the first one, the dot eleven controller had no had no program in it, so it's got no tags available. Uh, well, it didn't pop up the second time, but um, well, it's sort of locked up. Give it a second here. This is not uncommon. RS Links is a, a fairly complex program. Sometimes it locks up, it can't find what it's looking for, and it gets a little bit confused, I would say. Um, let's see if it'll come back before I shut down the video. So anyway, the, the data monitor, what's nice about that is you can look at information inside the controller without actually connecting to the controller through the software design program, uh, uh, Studio 5000. So, you know, it's it's handy. You don't you don't have to interfere with the operation of the controller. You don't have to go online with it. Uh, you can just look at it, kind of peek inside and see what it's doing. So I have a feeling it's not going to recover from that. It, it's trying to, but doesn't 
doesn't look very promising. Uh, if you look on the right side, you can see the graphical icons that show different processors. So the IP addresses, the uh, the uh, catalog number 1769-L16ERBB1B. That describes the hardware. What it, you know, if you looked it up, if you Google that part number, you'll get a you'll get some information about it. Uh, also, this one has got a question mark. There's a there's something on the system on the network that is not an Allen Bradley product, but it but it does it does have an Ethernet socket on it, an AVG HMI. So this is a touch screen. AVG is a company that makes automation products as well, and um, uh, Allen Bradley sees it, but it doesn't necessarily know how to talk to it because it doesn't have a data sheet on that product. There may be a data sheet available from ABG that will allow RS links to, to be more comfortable with it, you know, to recognize it, uh, but you know, it's not really that important. Uh, the nice thing about this software package, though, is that it, it's kind of like a network sniffer. It will tell you what's on the network that's that could possibly talk to other components. Uh, so it's a handy tool, and I believe you can download the light version of RS Links from Alan Bradley without paying for it. RS Links light will let you uh, uh, monitor, perhaps even data monitor, but you can't use some of the more advanced features though, that, that you could use in this classic version. Okay, I think it's locked up. I'm just going to turn off the video and, and uh, try again with the RS Studio or Studio 5000.